Okay, welcome back. Uh, in this part, I will show you how to use uh, our uh, Active Directory uh, private CA uh, to generate the certificate for the uh, IPsec L2TP VPN server and uh, the client. But the concept is as the same as our previous Linux uh, operation. Uh, we will have a root CA here. Our root CA is Windows Server Active Directory uh, CA component. Uh, I will have a standalone CA server. And uh, here, the left part, uh, the server part, is our VPN server. Uh, the domain name is VPN server uh, dot our, of our domain name. And uh, plus here, uh, we also need to uh, create our uh, client uh, certificate uh, plus with the client. But the idea is also uh, the same. Uh, about the Windows uh, CA, uh, actually it's building rule from the uh, building rule from the uh, Windows Server. Uh, very easy. Here I have already attached the link, and uh, this is Microsoft uh, online document. Just uh, uh, we can use the PowerShell uh, from the Windows Server, or we can use the GUI to install it from the server manager, add the role and the features, then step uh, one step, uh, nest, 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 uh, just uh, type some uh, keywords uh, to make the installation very easy. Uh, but the uh, concept is very important. I have already shown you from the uh, Linux part, so here I will uh, skip it. Uh, okay, let's move to our CA. Uh, I have already uh, finished the installation, so uh, we can take a look at the raw and the features. Yeah, here uh, you can see I have already installed the CA and the CA web environment. environment. Uh, different with the Linux part here uh, in Windows, we will have a GUI console and we will have our web. Uh, in element uh, entrance. So we have two different entrances, uh, but at the Linux by default, just, just one, the CLI. So maybe that's the uh, strength of the Windows. We can see here, uh, we will get the CA certificate uh, or authority uh, management console. Uh, how to open it? Very easy. Server manager tool. Uh, the first one is our CA. Uh, but I also need to uh, stress is uh, the Microsoft platform standalone CA, we must uh, uh, highly uh, rely on the uh, Active Directory. So uh, we need to install our DC first, configure our uh, domain controller first, then we uh, can uh, install our CA. And here uh, is our CA server. Uh, actually, you can see here is a uh, very uh, simple uh, revoke issue. Uh, I have already issued some certificate and I will talk to you uh, later what's the uh, difference between all these server, uh, uh, certificate pending uh, field. And uh, that's the CA template. Uh, CA template, just like the uh, template have the different usage, uh, some template dedicated for our user, uh, some uh, dedicated for our server. Uh, so we can create the template ourselves, but I will not uh, show, uh, show you more details uh, how to uh, generate new template to issue. But the uh, concept is also the same. Okay, let's uh, switch to our uh, VPN server first. Okay. Uh, another thing I want to uh, stress is that once our uh, server or any client have already joined the domain, it will auto uh, trust the 
root CA, which means the root CA have a certificate have already uh, input to our uh, server or client once the computer joined the domain. I can show you how to uh, validate it. Uh, MMC, not CCM, MMC. Fire. Certificate. Certificate. Uh, we can see here we have already uh, input our UWCA CA, that's our root CA. That's our root CA. Uh, if you uh, cannot find it and you, your computer have uh, already joined the domain, uh, you can try to log out or restart your uh, computer. Then I believe it will uh, input to your uh, computer. Okay, then the first step for our L2TP our certificate is to uh, apply a server certificate. Uh, here have two ways. One is from the uh, certificate console or task uh, request, then uh, one step by step, nest, nest, nest. Once you're joined domain, it's very easy to apply. And another way is the uh, web enrollment. I have already uh, told you. Uh, we can go to the server. OK, it pop out the uh, username and the password. And we type the username and password. Okay, that's the uh, web uh, console for our uh, Luta CA. Uh, actually, first uh, we can see here uh, the HTTPS is work uh, because I have already uh, told you that we trust the our Luta CA and uh, this uh, web IIS certificate uh, issued to the server uh, is have already been validated. Okay. And the step uh, or the concept always the same request. Uh, you can select different types of the user certificate or the uh, server certificate. Uh, submit the uh, CMC or the PKCS file. Uh, I will not repeat the same concept here. Uh, just the, this uh, the PK. CS uh, format for our CSR file. Uh, I don't know whether you still remember it. Okay, so for our client, you can see the client here. Uh, uh, first, the client uh, not join the domain and it cannot connect to our CA. Uh, means it's the external, maybe the client uh, it's not one of our uh, enterprise computers. So uh, we need to manually uh, create the certificate for our uh, client. Uh, then one more step is to input our uh, CA certificate, let our client PC to trust the uh, root CA. So here I have already uh, input to our client PC. Uh, I can show you. Because this uh, PC uh, has not joined the domain, or sometimes it cannot join the domain, so uh, we have to uh, input our root C first here, 
it will not automatically import because it uh, has not joined the domain and uh, import our client uh, certificate uh, client. So you just need to uh, apply a user certificate. Uh, once you got the approval, then uh, import to our client. So uh, let's move to our uh, VPN. Now we have already set all the certificate uh, information here. Uh, first, we property security. This time we will not use the uh, PSK, just the uh, move to the certificate and uh, uh, leave the server as the same. We don't need to uh, change anything. We just leave the setting our previous demo, the uh, L2TP part. And here, OK. OK, OK. It has already a connect, so I should disconnect it. OK, let's uh, open our Wireshark again. SSP. Okay, we can see lots of uh, ESP protocol, so which means that uh, we have already uh, finished the uh, connection between our client and the VPN server by the certificate. Okay, let's move to our slides. So the first demo, the previous demo, I show you how to use the PS key uh, to make the connection, uh, make the authentication. Actually, this uh, authentication uh, is some kind of MFA because uh, we have already uh, input our username and password and the PSK uh, or the RSA is the additional uh, authentication. Uh, so uh, you may ask what the difference between PSK and RSA I have already touched another link uh, from the uh, IBM. Uh, it can show you some explanation. Uh, uh, from my side, I think the certificate always uh, be uh, safe than the uh, key. You can see here. So if key is compromised, the unauthorized access to the network may be obtained because just one key, it will cover all the uh, client communication, but the server is, compl uh, is complex. So uh, I prefer use the server, I uh, use the certificate, sorry. All right, here is the demo for the uh, L2TP VPN uh, based on the PS key or the ISA. And uh, I think this learning parse is, you know, uh, lay, level to level. Uh, first, uh, we uh, have already got the uh, knowledge of the, uh, just like the CA, the private CA, uh, the public CA, the private key, public key. Then we move to the uh, application level, just the VPN or the HTTPS, even the Bitcoin uh, signature. That's the uh, application for our uh, encryption, uh, decryption knowledge. So uh, I really hope you can uh, learn something you want from this series video. Okay, see you next time.